Swim Clubs, California. We're uh, getting ready to reinstall this cap on a, a soil clean out. It's actually soil clean out coming through concrete, so they poured the side yard. Uh, one of the problems you've got out here is um, one, you can't really inspect the pipe because it's buried in concrete. Two, uh, when they poured the concrete, they didn't slope it, you know, away uh, out to here. So there's no place to drain. You can see it's just kind of drops in the middle. So all the water just kind of sits. You can see where the water sits out here. Um, so there should be, I mean, you need to pour concrete. This is just totally separate air issue, but, you know, put some drains in, tie them into your, you know, where your downspouts tie in, get them out to the front to where it can terminate. Otherwise it just sits back here. So it's hard to say what's going on. Um, we did take a bunch of water first and try and clean up this area, but the water just kept floating back basically over to this area. And of course to the drain, we did take a lot of water and run it down. The drain we wanted to make sure that there wasn't a partial blockage not a full blockage but partial enough to where you have water backing up and seeping through the cap uh, so we ran a lot of water down there it drains fine so it's not a drainage or a blockage issue and whether or not the cap was tight or not really wouldn't affect it if you had a, a, a blockage uh, and you and this was like just to say glued in place then of course it would come out at the lowest fixture which tips typically is the closest bathroom is going to come out the bottom of the toilet or fill up at the bottom of a shower or bottom of a tub something like that but if you're not having any drainage problems it's not a loose cap here we are going to pipe it up and teflon tape the cap which we just showed you put it back in you do have some water lines you know i don't know how your house is uh is laid out but uh, i think all the sprinklers that are in the front serve the front and then I think all the sprinklers, uh, hopefully all the sprinklers that are in the back are served from a separate stub over on this side. And um, if they're not, then you've got some pipes that are coming underneath concrete. Let's just take a real quick look down here. So I don't see sprinklers, just gas valve. I got a hose bib down there and uh, I don't see any uh, sprinkler valves anywhere in here and you wouldn't. Um, I see looks like a fill valve for the pool right there and then uh, hose bib so one of the things is you've got you know you got water from here but I don't think that's your problem that's going over and serving the pool and then over here you do have sprinklers so uh, where your water is coming from I don't know definitely want to make sure that you know the neighbors aren't generating water because you can see uh, if they're if you're getting water from this side which only they would know. I'm looking over there right now and I don't see anything that would generate water unless they washed it down or it rained and it hasn't been raining. Um, but you also, these lines right here, I'm pretty sure, almost certain that you've got uh, zone, a couple zones out front and then um, you've got a zone going out to the back. There's the water main right there and so there's no more valves. So, not not a lot of valves but uh, one of these or two of these go to the back and then you can see here this looks like uh, drip irrigation going back but you could have a line uh, you know that when the water runs on your watering days if you have a broken line underneath you could be getting water over to there I just don't know anyways we've done our due diligence we're not sure entirely what we might turn on you know a couple valves just to see what happens but uh, honestly we just we, we can't tell you what's happening why there's water we didn't smell what you smelled um you said it smelled like sewer water we didn't smell that you know you've got quite a bit of buildup out here all this black uh it's like a, a scum that's stuck to the concrete you know we blew off a lot of it right over here with the hose but it was just all this was just flooding out so we stopped watering it down uh, anyways uh, we're going to screw that cap back on outside of that this inspection is done